Hi everybody, Victor Oliver here, so-called beach bum astrologer, not on the beach but actually in the local park, just showing a picture of the lake, rather lovely. Birds are making their noises, I've just fed the ducks some duck food, uh, which you can buy for £1.50, it's gone up 50p, unbelievable isn't it, even duck food, I'll blame Ke on Starmer for that. What a disappointment he's turning out to be. Anyway, never mind. Um, very briefly, I'm talking about something in my chart at the moment, which may interest you. Um, transiting Saturn is conjunct my moon in Pisces. Um, it's a long conjunction. Uh, it started earlier this year, maybe around March, April, something like that. But because Saturn is going retrograde and it's a slow moving planet, sometimes known as the Greater Malefic. We'll come back to that in a moment. But it goes backwards and forwards over my moon, thank you very much. So it's quite a long um, alignment. It won't end until about March 2025. And it's very interesting to observe what's going on in my life as it correlates to that particular conjunction. Um, we think of Saturn as something horrible but really, it's the reality check. It wakes us up to something if we need waking up. But in any case, it will tend to bring a little bit of somberness to the nature. Uh, it might make one rather more reflective. And the central theme of Saturn on Moon really affects those things of the Moon, such as the home, such as the family, one's emotional connection and relationship to the world, for instance, is one feeling lonely or isolated, you may be in a relationship, that sort of thing, and yet there's this sense, this questioning of how connected are you to certain people. These are the sort of broad themes. In its extreme manifestation, it can be threatening to the home in some way. And in my particular instance, I would say that a growing theme at the moment is how to refurbish my house, am I living within my means, these sort of questions. Um, do I have assets to do the things I want to do with the home? And in the broader sense, as I'm not getting any younger, and nor are you, I'm thinking, am I living on a realistic level? Do I need to review my means, my assets, my this, my that? So Saturn is affecting me to that extent of causing me to reflect on matters that otherwise I'm disinclined to address. I always say to myself, oh, I'll leave that to the accountant. I'll go and see a solicitor. I really can't be bothered. And my mood at the moment is I should be working, but with transiting Venus on my Neptune, I'm inclined to dream a little bit more. So combined with Saturn on Moon, there's interesting contrast of moods. And uh, certainly it's proven to be an experience uh, worth relating. I did put up a message on my social media to say that I'm writing an article about Saturn on Moon. Do send in your examples if you've gone through something similar. Everybody that lived long enough will have a Saturn on Moon. It happens about every 28 years. Um, I won't be alive by the time Saturn meets my Moon again. So I'm making the most of it. Um, it's interesting about Saturn and time because Today I was talking to an insurer and he said, well, say, bearing in mind your overall health and one, one thing and another, you'll live to about 86. And I thought, oh, okay, 86. Of course, a passing asteroid could bring that forward a bit. Or even a cyclist, you know, there are a lot of psychos on bikes I've noticed, usually male. And um, they sort of take risks with your life as they pass about one inch from your arm. You know, that's what they like to do. No doubt they have very unhappy private lives, at least I hope they do. But So I'm sharing some thoughts on Saturn on Moon. By all means, get in touch with me if you'd like to contribute to this article I'm writing or just share your thoughts on the subject. Um, as I say, Saturn is not one's enemy. It is actually the wake-up call. That's the best way to regard it. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed my little nattering. It's a nice tree, isn't it? Lovely tree.
I love this park, it's quite sweet. And there are not many people around at the moment, thank God. Anyone would think that I'm a sociopath. And uh, I think that that's it for now. Thanks for joining me. Bye.